khlapnan khnam ala chung ka tal balisen garo poido ko skirangi ya garo poido ni bimara achiram asongthang ma achiram asongthang ya achiram asongthang poido ko milison khemara seha yani ya poido ko se gbani bimung ko milison khemara ma the author of the uh, this poem achiram asongthang is Uh, Milikson K. Mara. So, first of all, try to understand the meaning of the topic uh, of the poem. It is Achira Masongthang. Meaning is uh, My Motherland. So, uh, let's discuss about the poem My Motherland. Him. Nyangwale kakum. Achi ang Achira Masongthang Garo Hills. Abi Chirang Kasna Garo Hills. Uh, it is telling about his own motherland, my motherland Garo Hills. The line, the meaning of the line is that my motherland Garo Hills. Ang achiram asungthang Garo Hills means my motherland Garo Hills. Ang means my. Him. Next, yano siya ka? A pri chirung kasna Garo Hills niya ka niya. A pri chirung kasna na. Abri means so near a mountain again. The meaning of the abri is mountain. Chirung means stream again. Kasna means cool. Garo Hills. The Garo Hills is cool. It is a cool place where there are mountains and streams. That is why it is telling about the Garo Hills that it is a cool place and there are streams and mountains. That is why it is a place of cool. You can say okay. Ini kemana akan ingat? Abri cirem kas nagaro hills ni akan ingat. Ia black bottom ni apa? Abri semua ni akan ingat siapa itu? The meaning of the abri is mountain. Ada cirem ko bayar no siapa? Siapa means I road stream again. Burung bolgram ko bayar no zana pinga. It is also mention about burung bolgram. It is called jungle or bolgram. If you say the in uh, different way then the bottom means uh, a forest but take, by taking these two words it, it becomes a jungle here it means okay so that is why it is telling about the streams mountains and uh, the jungles or, or forest of garo hills it is mentioning about the uh, how to say location of garo hills how it is there okay Burung bolgram doni kurang rangan doni doni means birds doni means bird doni means birds kurang rangan means kurang means sound sound of birds you can hear the sound of birds in the jungle so everywhere in the jungle not only in Garo Hills you can say hear the sound sound of the birds in where there is jungles where there are so many birds okay that is why it is also saying that. I can hear the sounds of birds. Okay, next. Rongma urang salrukut o ang nan niya kaniya. Rongma means used to sing. They, the birds, the poet is comparing the birds sing that the bird is singing for him. Okay, ni kung ano ang kaniya. Rongma urang salrukut o ang nan niya kaniya. Rongma means sing, used to sing. Every day they are singing. Urang means day, salrukut means here, it means every day. U angman means for me. They are singing for me every day. The birds are singing for the poet every day. Is the meaning? Okay. Salrukut means every day. Okay. You should remember. Next one. An sawato angko ni tua bibal yano ni kaya kanya dam. Meaning of the line is that and sawata means gives me pleasant, pleasant, it makes me happy. Okay, makes me happy. Angko means me. Nitoa bival. Nitoa bival means beautiful flowers. The beautiful flowers makes me happy. So if you go to Garo Hills, then you can find uh, beautiful flowers in the garden. Even though they are uh, growing wildly, they are, uh, how to say, flowering beautifully. Okay, that is why it is said that the beautiful flowers makes me happy. It keeps me pleasant for me like this. The poet saying about his garo hills. Okay, next. Ramat chap chap bolgram ni bala bival. Ramat chap chap bolgram ni means the 
uh, color here it means the matchup the color of the flowers is uh, yellow the, it is mentioning about the color of the flower it was in yellow in color ni bala bibal the how to say tree which are bearing a flower are uh, green uh, no that is not green uh, yellow in color and this kind of flowers makes me feel very happy it, it means to say okay the much program ni bala bibal yang meaning dong ya ni bala bibal means flowery flower ungin ma banong ba dukan na mo ya kan ungin ma means will there be any sadness or sorrow next in you where there are so many beautiful flowers and beautiful jungles beautiful animals sound, sweet sound of birds if if there are full of this kind of things then how can i uh, become very sad or how how will i become very sad he means to say the poet means to say like this okay mungkin apa no ba dukan ang will there be any sorrowness in you while i am staying in garo hills it is it means to say do means say upset uh, garo uh, nitua garo hills am atiramo ya kan ya nitua means beautiful beautiful flower in my motherland am atiram means motherland you can say am atiram atongtang my motherland that is why it is said that nitua garo hills beautiful flower uh, garo hills in my motherland yeah, the poet means to say that okay next Ang uh, atsiram asong tang garo hills, my motherland garo hills. Dong tua na mo plakan garo hills. It is comfortable in you. All, uh, uh, all are, all are feeling comfortable in you. Nobody feels uncomfortable in you. So while staying in garo hills, nobody say that I am uncomfortable. The poet means to say that uh, everybody will feel comfortable in you. That means that is the meaning. Don't tua na mo lakan garo hills. That means everybody feel happy. Everybody will say that it is good and uh, it is very comfortable, very cool, and such and such good words they will say. That is why uh, he means to say that nobody will uncomfortable in you. It is comfortable for all. The person or for all of us like this. Okay, tung tua na mo tapan dahil tung tua means comfortable. Ang singata ay forgot to forgot to say the meaning. Ang singata means gives pleasure and makes me happy. Okay, chun na dala burung ni mat burung. There are so many animals in the jungles. Whether uh, there are whether it may be small or big. Big and small. Chona dalami. Chona means small. Dalami means big. Uh, big and small. So many animals are there in Garo Hills. Okay. And so what that don't mean my kai wa namang. This all uh, together makes me feel happy. Okay. Because of the animals also. He is feeling very happy. And because of the flowers. Because of the nature. Uh, in one word you can say. Because of all the beautiful scenery in nature. He is feeling very happy. Happy. The poet is feeling very happy. And Sawada means giving him a pleasant because of his nature. Okay, because of the animals, because of the birds, because of the flowers. That is the all meaning. The machok ni kapram abri ni patalo. Machok ni kapram means machok means I have written here. Tong tong means comfortable. Maturum means animals. Machok means deer. You know. Uh, dear, what the, what do you mean by dear? You know, okay. Uh, so it is the it means to say that it is the place where deers used to live. Okay, deers used to play. The deers also uh, it was found earlier, but now it is rarely found. But uh, earlier, uh, so many deers are also found in Garo Hills. It is why it is saying that it is the place where deers used to play, like a playground, like you used to play in the playground now. The, the deer also used to play in the ground in the garden hills. Okay. So, we saw this in the other program. Moreover, other than this, there is a bird which used to sing for me um, very sweetly. It is called Dokhilgam. Okay. The Dokhilgam is a kind of bird which used to sing a very sweet song. Okay. Dokhilgam is a bird, name of the bird. It, 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 it looks like uh, dove, you know the bird dove, 
uh, it is a kind of dark. Okay, I don't know in English, but uh, you can say that it is a one of the kind of bird. Okay, so uh, they also used to sing for the quack, the doctor gum also. Okay, name of the bird doctor gum. We tell the rasun urang namukham. These are all dignity of your our own. Okay. These are the these are making us feel very proud. It means okay. So by singing, uh, singing a song by uh, the uh, sounds of sweet uh, song, sweet sounds of birds, uh, it makes me very it, it makes me feel very proud of my garudus. The poet means to sing. Okay. So these are the dignity of our garudus. Next. Ang at sila masong ang Garo Hills, my mother named Garo Hills, Changsok Pija Gamraman Garo Hills, uncountable resources in Garo Hills. Okay, he means to say that there are so many resources in Garo Hills. Changsok Pija na kanya, no? Yan ang gusto ng siya tahan. Ang bati ni Bao, Changsok Pija it is uncountable. There are so many resources in Garo Hills, and it is that is why he means to say that there are uncountable resources are there in Garo Hills, like you. You might know that coal, you know what is coal, coila. Uh, so it is also taken out from garbage. This is called uh, ground, underground resources, you can say. And not only in the ground, but uh, on the ground also, you can find so many resources like uh, forests, there are so many rocks and stones, sands, and all. So these are all resources of garbage. That is why he is used to say there. There are uncountable resources in Garo Hills. Chansoki ja kamrawan Garo Hills ja jingin maina ani neng asap ne. Karena why should I worry? Why should I worry? Ja jingin ja jinga means worry. Ja jingin maina means why should I worry? Maina means why? Why should I worry? There is no need to worry for me. There are so many resources for me. It is enough for me like this. He wants to say okay. The drinking mine are in Asa, are in means underground, Asa means on the ground. So I already told you inside the ground there are so many holes and limestone are also found in the underground. This is just one underground resources, and another one is on the ground is there are sand, rocks, and forest resources, and so many timbers you can find on the ground also. That is why he is saying that I should not worry about the resources. Jazrinkan mana ini asa pun teman Sony kasa pun angin bang ini kemenangan yang punya pun teman Sony ada masanya he of God he is how to say considering it as a gift of God okay so whatever resources he he found in Garofels these are all gift of God he means to say okay this is naturally found but actually it is not naturally but these are all keep of God he means to say about the resources okay so next one on the money so ni kasaon ang iba kasaon means with loving me ringin ang nga at chiram at song ko I will sing for my motherland it is the meaning ringin means I will sing ringin will sing ang nga Ringin ang nga ang nga means I at chiram at song ko means my motherland. I will sing for my motherland. This is the meaning of the lines. Okay. Next, ang bi at you agad sa mga dong ram ko niya kanino. The place where ancestors used to live. It is the place where our forefathers live. So she is saying that this is the place not only we are living but this is the place where our forefathers, our grandmothers, and our grandfathers also live and they die, and we are continuing to live here. We mean to say that, okay? Other term means ancestor or forefather, our grandmother and grandfather who used to live long before us. They are called other term. Achu ami means grandfather and grandfather. So, other than this grandmother and grandmother, their grandmother and grandfather also their this is called ancestors. So this is the place where ancestors live. It's the meaning. Okay. Achu dong jawa ang na sungtang kita de. Who am I? Chira ma song thang na adi niya kanang yano last ba arupon kam ko pa line thang wani kaya kanang yano in this last two lines he means to say that there will not be anywhere there would be no nowhere for me like my garo hills okay he means to say that 
Darohus is a very uh, how to say much better than any other place. I will I will I will not find any a uh, good place or better place like Garo Hills. He mean to say that okay, he he is praising about his Garo Hills. Okay, don't jawa ang nasong tanda that there there will be no year for me like Garo Hills. Okay, or Garo Hills de sa ha mera koi bi kahi bi nahi milega. Isa bol nai zara na. O ang atchira ma song tang na adi. O my uh, motherland, oh my motherland, he mean to say that, oh my motherland, there will be no way for me like you, you are the one who is best for me, he mean to say that to you. So this is the end of the story. Now you have uh, understood or you have got some information about the Garvels also in this lesson uh, uh, through this poem. So try to remember all this, okay? What I have written on the blackboard, the main uh, or the meanings of the difficult words also. So try to remember. And this is another. Here I'm going to talk about yan, angni, atchiram, asong angni, song angni, ba meaning lang mga nigman dalde. Yan on the time of let me uh, conclude my lesson today. Lakon matela.